Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel where I bring you the latest on pool equipment, tips and tricks for your swimming pool. If you are a homeowner and you're concerned about your family's safety, but the well-being of your pets also, today's video is perfect for you because it's about safety, safety, safety. So in today's video, I'm going to go over a few things that you can get for your swimming pool that will protect your family and your pets for the summer or the years to come. If you are ready, let's dive in. Okay guys, so before I jump in to show you the some of the safety things that you can get for your swimming pool, I just want to show you a little bit of data I found on the uh, CDC website. And you can see this chart of all the accidental drowning over the last uh, five years, six years. And in 2020, it was the highest um, ever. Probably not ever, but uh, it was very high. Anyway, um, and then you can see where it starts um, in March. You know, it start, the number starts going up. And then it peaks in like July and starts coming back down till September, October, which uh, makes sense because it depends where you're located. Some of the swim seasons are longer than others. But you can also see on this map uh, the states that are, you know, where most drowning happens. I'm actually surprised that California the rate is so low, but you can see the ones that are very dark. That's where most of the accident happens in drowning and not just uh, swimming pool, but boating, uh, boating drowning too. So it's really, really important to make sure you have the, uh, the right tools to protect your kids and your pets, you know, for the summer, but um, not only the summer, all year until you can teach them how to swim or, you know, they, they know not to get to the pool by themselves or whatever it is, all right? So there's some data for you, um, just so you can see how serious this is. And now I will show you a few things that you can get, um, give you my opinion on them, and uh, to protect your loved ones. All right, so the first one is fencing. So there are many different types of fences that you can get for your swimming pool. Um, some of you are probably seeing these. Um, you've probably seen this one also this is the, the removable fence you can um, you know have it installed and then it, it just actually pops out of the ground and you can fold it up and put it away um, compared to this one where it's a little more permanent um, it's kind of like a wrought iron looking fence but it's not it's actually made out of a, a plastic material for more permanent thing and then you would have gates with uh, self-locking latches that will close so if uh, someone went in you know the gate doesn't stay open it closes automatically and lock right but um, one of my favorites is this kind of fencing the glass fence but um, it, it it's a little more it's a lot more expensive to put up but what's nice about it, it doesn't block the view you know of your swimming pool or the backyard in a sense and if you're if you're somebody that has a really beautiful backyard and um, you know you just you hate the black fences or even this one the roll-up one uh, this is a really nice option right the glass fence it looks really clean and uh, you can see everything that's going on on the other side so those um, those are the three fences that you can get for your swimming pool uh, and like I said this is probably one of my favorites I, I like the wrought iron one too just because it's a lot more sturdy and it's not glass it's just that it uh, some folks don't like it because they feel like it's obstructing the view next one is uh, pool covers now <clears throat> There are many different types of pool covers when it comes to uh, covering up your pool. But I want you to remember something. If you do use something like this, make sure it's someplace that you don't have to check the pool in the off season. Because when you put something like this on, it's very hard to take it off. Um, yeah, it's very safe. But um, if you need to check the pool once a week or every you know two weeks, you're going to have to take that off to get to the swimming pool. All right? 
so again this cover it's uh, a good cover it's just um, it's not practical when you when it comes to you having to maintain your pool or you know you have a pool guy coming over and he's got to take that off he's going to hate doing it so the another cover is the uh, the automatic covers um, I love these covers because they you know push of a button they go away and they come back right um, in new construction they will install the rails right above the uh, the tie line in between the, the tie line and the uh, the coping as you can see here and then there's a switch somewhere on the patio or in the back that you can uh, sometimes it takes two hands to turn the switch to um, open and close the cover and these are very safe too um, I like those covers just because uh, you know if like again if you have to maintain the pool it's easy to remove it and put it back on now you can have these covers put on even though you know it wasn't installed during construction um, they can come out and still attach it to your swimming pool the only difference is instead of the rails being on the inside the rails would be on the deck right up right above the deck right here so um and then there would be a big box over here because they need to put the motor and where the cover would roll up so it would be sitting on the deck up here it's a little bit of an eyesore but um still safe and it's still a nice way to to go to cover up your swimming pool and there's a lot of different companies out there that um that are offering them in different colors and different finishes as you can see right um you know this is kind of nice this uh looks like a shutter door in a sense right but uh let's see what else the next cover oh here is a good example of uh cover being installed after the swimming pool was built so you can see the tracks up here um and this this actually is kind of nice because um with the with this one all the debris and if you have a backyard it has a lot of leaves and stuff like that it collects and then you gotta take it off before you open the cover because it just gets pushed right into the pool so where the cover that's installed later um, you can see how it covers part of the deck so whatever gets on top kind of blows off right and this person kind of dressed it up really nice to go with the backyard um, probably made it like a little seating area too that you can sit if you you know you choose to but um, those are automatic covers the next cover is a net uh, these nets are great um, they are a little bit of a pain in the butt to take on and put on uh, take off and put on because um, as you can see they're anchored into the deck so they're these uh, they drill out little holes and put these anchors in so you gotta hook the net in and then it tightens up with by this string right here you pull it to tighten it up the only problem I see with a net like this um, is if you have small animals right um, you know they can fall in between the net and then you're gonna have a hard time trying to get them out or whatever it is okay um, but it is safe for kids as you can see a little girl running or standing on the net um, the the openings are probably I want to say three by three or four by four um, so your foot can get through there but at least not not your whole body but they're not something I recommend if you have small pets that can get in between in between the net and get into the pool all right the next one is uh, let's see here uh, these are just covers again so the next one is alarms all right there are many many different types of alarms that you can get for the swimming pool and you can see on here I'm on Google right now just to show you a good example um, some of these are great you know and some of them I don't really care for so one of the basic things you can get as an alarm is you want to make sure you have an alarm on the back sliding glass door or the back windows and stuff and you can pick this up I think Amazon has it here but you can pick this up from Home Depot and other places and it's just a sensor that goes on the back door and the frame and if it opens it sounds right and you know the you know either a window or a door is opened right um, 
And then there are these uh, floating alarms, as you can see here. These, those floating alarms, I don't, uh, they work, but I just don't care for them, and I'll tell you why. Because they're floating around in the pool, and what happens is the jets from the pool and the pool skimmer ends up pushing it to, towards the pool skimmer, and then they get sucked in. But uh, if they don't get sucked in, they actually end up sounding. As you can see this one right here, right? Um, it'll get close to the sk skimmer and it'll always keep going off. And um, it's kind of, kind of annoying, to be honest. So I don't really care too much for these floating alarms, to be honest. Um, you know, just because, like I said, with the jets, water moving and pushing it into the skimmer and stuff. But um, one of the ones I like is the ones that sit on the deck. You know where it's it's more of a in a stable place and then it just senses any kind of water movement and sound uh, the only thing that you have to keep in mind if you do get something like that is if you don't have an automatic fill to your swimming pool um, you want to make sure you're adding water regularly or adjusting it because if the water drops too much then obviously it's not going to sense any movement in the swimming pool right um, so that's the only thing that you know I recommend I think some of these arms actually extend down a little bit so um, you can judge you know your water lose it lossage over the week and then just add more to your pool to keep it the right height for these particular kind of uh, of sensors and then there's uh, there are cameras that you can get um, that'll sense movement and sound an alarm to your phone you know you, you can see this one here um, the only thing I don't like about this is that if you're gonna rely on the phone getting a, a message that somebody's in the pool or something then you got to make sure you have your phone with you all the time and uh, if you're someone like me that sets the phone down and then forget where it is um, probably not a good one right uh, if you just want to see, you know, what's happening in the backyard, I think you can do that with a basic uh, ring camera or something like that. But um, just keep in mind, too, if you if you do get one of these that's a camera um, and you're really concerned about your loved ones, it's just, uh, you know, you got to make sure you have your phone with you, especially if you have company and they have young ones over, too, right? Um, you know, if you have company over... Uh, you want to make sure somebody's dedicated to watching the kids um, while the, the pool is open for them, right? And uh, make sure that person knows that, you know, so many kids can't swim or whatever it is. So you have someone acting as a lifeguard uh, for your swimming pool. Because most of the accidents I see is um, when folks actually go to other folks' house or they're on vacation and they think uh, somebody's going to watch their kids and it doesn't happen then um, then you have a problem on your hand and I'm telling you guys that you're better off being safe than sorry because I've heard a lot of uh, horror stories over the year of being in the business for a long time right um, <clears throat> if you're going to someone's house well, I'll make sure they have somebody that's acting lifeguard and you know it doesn't hurt to take a CPR class you know to um, learn how to save someone's life if, if if they're drowning or choking or something like that right but um, some of the basic basic things you can get to uh, if you wanted are these hooks these are called life hooks or lifeguard hooks right and they just go on the end of your pool pole and they're universal they fit on every pool pole that's out there and you can get one of those and they just you know sit up on the on the rack wherever you have your pool stuff or you can have a dedicated area that says you know for your life-saving tools right so you can get a life hook if you wanted um, you know if you have a lot of company over all the time or you can do a, a life ring also if you do a life ring just make sure you get some uh, some rope you know to attach to it you can see like this one has a rope it comes with so if you throw it out, you can pull the person in. And, and most of these, you know, it just depends on how big your pool is and, um, you know, how safe you want to be. But I always believe in being safe, safer than sorry, right? So if you do get a life ring, just make sure you get some rope, um, you know, to attach to it so you can 
pull in somebody if you need to if you can't swim and you need to throw the life ring out to them or whatever it is okay um let's see and i i think that was it so we got uh we have different types of fences we have different types of covers right um the one thing that's not a cover guys and i want to make sure you know this do not do not use a solar cover like something like this as a as a cover thinking it's gonna save anybody's life because all it is it's just a solar cover and if someone falls into this um bring it up real quick you're not going to be able to get them out right like you can see this they're gonna fall into cover and it's actually gonna suck them in and they're not gonna be able to swim to get out right so don't use these as uh, safety covers they're not safety covers okay um, one of the other things I like to tell folks you know if they are new to a pool or uh, new pets or whatever it is is you know especially if you have small pets is when you do put them in the pool make sure you show them how to get out meaning like you know let them swim around and then lead them back to the stairs or the bench or whatever it is you know some pools will have seats in the corner showing them that they can you know stop and relax or stop there catch a breath or you know to get out of the pool right and the same thing with kids if the kids are new to the pool show them how to get out of the pool so they're not panicking right and, you know maybe show them how to hold on to the side and then walk to the, the steps or whatever it is but um, the most important thing about saving a life is getting the kids swimming lessons um, that'll be your safest safest bet is getting sw getting them swimming lessons as soon as you can and teaching them the safety around the swimming pool even though they know how to swim right because uh, you know some kids can fall in and panic and they're not touching bottom and all of a sudden you have an accident but um there are a few things i just wanted to go over and show you that you can get to protect your uh your loved ones and your uh and your pets for the summer um i know a lot of drowning happens every year but we don't hear about it unless it's really really big um and then it hits the news but most of it doesn't even touch the news um and you don't hear about it so you know sometimes when you don't hear about it you think it's okay and all of that and then you find out the hard way right so um you know get one of these things protect your loved ones and um let's have a safe summer all right safe and fun summer until uh until the next video thanks for watching